What's up, but it's Rob. This is Apparel Success. And if you don't know who I am, I run a Canadian clothing brand called KBud that's doing well into the six figures in sales. So I help clothing brands like yours get really good results. And in this video here, I'm gonna share with you how to get your first 100 sales for your clothing brand from people that you don't know. I'm gonna share with you some psychology, some tips, some techniques that you can use given the resources that you have when you first start up, when you haven't been doing this for a long time to really get the ball rolling. So I hope you enjoy. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Brand Crowd. Brand Crowd is a logo maker tool where you just head over to their site, you type in whatever logo you wanna have made, thousands of logos will come up, you scroll through the logos, you find a logo you like, you edit this logo as long as you want for free until you've made it absolutely perfect for your brand. This is a logo I've made for my own clothing brand that I'm gonna be selling through my website. If you're interested, head over to brandcrowd.com forward slash apparel success and you can get 66% off your logo at checkout. One of the best feelings you will ever experience as an entrepreneur growing a business is when you get your first orders coming in from people that you don't know personally. I remember how special that felt, how amazing it felt to have built this brand that is resonating with people enough that even if I don't know them personally as the clothing brand owner, they're willing to spend money to wear it on their bodies and to rock it around their friends. That is such a special feeling, and it's something that I really want you to experience if you've never experienced this before. And funny enough, this beginning stage, it can seem like such a hard thing to do to get even just a single sale or a dozen orders or a couple dozen orders for your brand when you're first starting out. And it's weird how once you grow your brand to doing you know a few dozen orders a day, how it kind of loses that special feeling and it just becomes this, this sort of business that's systematized and you've got it going at scale. But I thought it would be cool to make a video for you guys here who haven't really gotten the ball rolling yet for your brand. You haven't really experienced your first 100 customers, your first 500 customers yet for your brand. And I wanna share with you some tactics here, some tips that I can give you, some psychology, principles that will really help you make this happen that would really be hard to figure out on your own. The very first thing that I want to say on this, if you're a new brand just starting out, is that conscientiousness is this personality trait and it's something that you have to have. And what conscientiousness is, is it's basically your ability to do things right, to do things accurately and to do things thoroughly. So when it comes to your brand, nobody's going to want to buy from you if there are mistakes on your website, your website's not designed up to a high enough standard. Okay, and this is where this personality trait of conscientiousness really comes in as an entrepreneur, because those who are conscientious will go through their website, iron out all the details and make sure that the whole user experience is really proper and right. So it doesn't matter if your brand concept is great, and it doesn't matter if your products are great, if your website looks like crap, if the whole brand as a whole isn't coming together and all the details aren't ironed out, you're really gonna struggle when it comes to converting people through your website. So make sure here, before you try to start selling to people, that the foundation of your brand is taken care of, that your brand concept makes sense, that your website looks good enough, that people would be willing to check out through your website and the whole user experience is great, and that everything is just ready for you to start selling and processing orders. Because once you get it to that point, all that it comes down to next is really creating the vibe that your brand is cool online. That's literally like the most important thing that you can do next. And one of the psychology principles I wanna share with you here is this idea of social proof. And if you watch some of my older videos, I used to talk about this like crazy because Back in the day, that was kind of really the stage that I was at, and it was something that I'd learned, I'd applied to my business, that really helped me out. And one tip that I wanna share with you here is when it comes to displaying your brand on Instagram or TikTok, even on your website in pictures, try and post pictures at the beginning stage of groups of people wearing your clothing. And these don't have to be groups of people that are strangers that you've never met before. This can be you using your own network, using your own resources to get a group of friends together, get them all to wear your clothing and get them in the same picture together. 
because what this does is it really amplifies the social proof and it makes your clothing brand have a tribe, a, tr a following. Because if every single picture that you're showing on your Instagram account, TikTok on your website is just a solo picture of one person wearing your clothing, it doesn't really give this feeling of community that you've been selling a lot to a lot of people. For some weird reason, there's this phenomenon with human beings where the first like 500 posts that I made on my Instagram account, all the ones that had groups of people in it, like 10 people, 12 people all wearing our clothing, did way better in terms of engagement, likes, comments, and things like that. Okay, and all the ones with just individual models didn't tend to do as well as the ones with groups of people. And I think that it's because when there's many people all sort of agreeing that something is cool, psychologically, when people look at that, it tends to be, it tends to, to look like the brand has much more value. So that's a really great tip for you is that on your Instagram account, try and post pictures when you're just getting started of a group of friends all wearing your stuff, a group of people all doing things that are aligned with your brand concept. Because when people come across that, it's gonna have a much more powerful effect. And another tip that I have for you here with this is along with just posting this to social media, things like Instagram and TikTok, take these pictures that you've made with your friends and your own network of groups of people and pepper them throughout your website because your website is more of this static thing and everybody who comes to your website will come across them. Whereas on Instagram, on TikTok, as you post more and more, those old pictures go down, down lower and lower on your feed and they just stop being seen as much. Whereas if you post like your best group photos on your website, say on your landing page, on your homepage, this is something people are gonna be scrolling through every single time they come across your website and they're gonna see that right before they decide to look into your brand and, and decide to purchase. The underlying principle here is to portray outwardly that your brand is already thriving, that you already have customers, that you're already out doing things, that your brand's contributing to the world and that it's making an impact in the world. Because if you're just posting those just product images of just the t-shirts, there's no customers being shown in any of them. There's no real brand behind it. It's just simply a product. Well, there's a million other brands out there to buy from. And the ones that people really fall in love with are the ones that have that emotion attached to it. They've got that story behind it. They've got that feeling behind it and that vibe that they're giving you. So that's a really great way at the beginning to really get that vibe out there, even without having made any sales before to anybody that you don't know that will really create that great foundation for you to really create an impact on the people that you haven't met before. Then once you're already showcasing your brand in this way and you've created an image around your brand and what your brand's all about and it's tight to a brand concept, this is when I really recommend going on Instagram, going into hashtags that are related to your brand concept and engaging with people, commenting on their photos, leaving value, dropping likes, just getting in front of them through that manual engagement and they'll likely check out your brand and see what you're all about. And this is really gonna put a test on how well of a job you've done showcasing your brand concept through your Instagram account, showcasing your brand concept on your website, how well your website looks, if everything's in place, if the brand's being ex expressed powerfully enough to that particular audience and you're really gonna be able to vibe this out. If people aren't buying from you, from you doing that, then there's clearly something going on in your foundation that, that needs to be tweaked because I made literally my first thousands of orders through just doing this over the first couple of years. It was through setting everything up on the Instagram account, getting people to wear the clothing, through friends, taking cool pictures, getting the website to look good enough and then just engaging with my audience on Instagram, liking, commenting, even chucking them a promo code in the DMs if they're liking your stuff. If they come back to your page and drop a like on some of your posts, you can hop in the DMs, say, hey, thanks for the like, You know, we're just a brand getting started here, we'd love to chuck you this promo code. And you can really build up your first customers this way of people that you don't know. And then on top of this, if your content on Instagram is shareable, and it's also aligned with your brand and it's showcasing some of your products in there. Maybe one of your posts kind of gets onto the explore page and gets in front of some people and some people buy that way. And honestly, TikTok's probably the best thing right now for that, for just getting in front of sort of this viral audience without having to spend the time engaging with people. If you create the right content, 
then maybe one of those posts will go viral. The best part about engaging with people is that it puts it into your own hands and you just know that if you're doing that every single day, you're getting in front of a certain amount of people. And if everything's set up right, you should be able to make some orders. And just remember here that it's really not a rush. You don't have to pester people. You don't have to push people. And the point of this isn't to try and sell, sell, sell. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get in front of people more and more. And if your brand that you've created is cool enough, if the substance of your brand stands and it has value and people can see that value that you've created, then just the act of getting in front of people in this way will likely convert into customers for you. And it's a really great process because you don't really have to spend any money on ads. And it's a good way at the very beginning to really just test out your brand and see how your brand's doing. And it gives you some indicators where you can fix things and how you can improve your brand moving forward. So that's what I recommend that you do to get your first 100 customers for your clothing brand. First, focus on staging your brand. Make sure that your brand actually has some value to it. You've taken some pictures of groups of people wearing your clothing, just even using your own network. And you've made sure that all the details on your website are taken care of so that the shopping experience is great. And when that foundation is good, then you spend your time engaging with your audience on Instagram. And by getting in front of them in that way, if your brand is cool enough, you should notice orders rolling in. This is exactly the process that I followed to get my first thousand customers. And the best part about this is that you're building up an audience while you do this. You're building up a retargeting list for Facebook ads, TikTok ads, that will allow you to really work your brand up to the next phase where you can use this data of people who have bought from you to target future customers even better, future potential customers even better. So you can create lookalike audiences. You can you know, really spend your money more wisely inside of advertising and target people without wasting money. So I really hope that that helps. If you got a lot of value out of this video, please hit the like button for me. It really helps me get these videos out there. And let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And if you haven't already, check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass. You can watch the whole thing for free. And if you made it to this point in the video, I want to tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have for Apparel Success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link, join us in the group, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.